presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says the Philippines will eventually thank China for its island building in the West Philippine Sea. Roque makes a statement during an interview with a Duterte supporter Wednesday. He says, quote, There will come a time when China's might has ceased, when we will have to thank them for those islands. Roque adds, quote, Clearly, eventually, those artificial islands will be ours if we can ask China to leave. The artificial islands created by China through reclamation around coral reefs are outfitted with runways, control towers, and hangars. But the reclamation also caused irreversible damage to the environment. Under the Aquino administration, the Philippine government said 300 acres of coral reefs, more than twice the size of Rizal Park, were destroyed due to China's island-building activities in the West Philippine Sea. The Foreign Affairs Department back then pegged economic losses from the damage at $100 million or 4.45 billion pesos. Still on Roque, the presidential spokesperson claims mainstream media does not report facts. That is why the public turns to pro-administration bloggers. Roque says, quote, The reason why social media in the Philippines, the DDS has grown as big as it is, is in reaction to the fact that traditional media really does not report the truth. During the interview, Roque insists he was a victim of irresponsible journalism, citing reports by media that he said Filipinos cannot afford to conduct Lenin Rice research on their own. While he disputes he said this, transcripts show the reports were accurate. Former Calaocan City cops and their informant involved in the killing of 17-year-old Kian de los Santos are ordered arrested Tuesday. The Calaocan City Regional Trial Court orders the arrest of police officers Arnel Oares, Jeremiah Spereda, Jerwin Cruz, and their informant Renato Loveras. All of them will face trial for murder as well as violation of the Dangerous Drugs Act for planting evidence at the crime scene. Murder is a non-bailable offense. The arrest order comes almost six months after De Los Santos' death triggered a firestorm of criticism against the Philippine National Police. What was supposed to be a drug raid against a targeted suspect ended with De Los Santos shot kneeling and defenseless. The Canadian government on Wednesday says it will review a deal with the Philippines over the sale of 16 helicopters over concerns on how the helicopters will be used. The Philippines bought 16 new Bell helicopters from Canada for about $234.8 million or around 12 billion pesos from the state-run Canadian Commercial Corp, with deliveries set to start in nine months. The Philippine Defense Department says the Bell 412 EPI helicopters are multi-purpose aircraft for anti-terrorism and for disaster response and humanitarian missions. But Canadian Trade Minister Francois-Philippe Champagne says the deal will be reviewed over concerns the new helicopters will be used to strengthen the Philippines' fight against Islamic militants and other domestic insurgencies. When the deal was struck in 2012, Canada said it understood that the choppers will be used for search and rescue operations during disasters, not for use in fighting rebels. Human rights groups in Canada criticized the deal, asking if the Canadian government conducted a human rights assessment before approving it. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau clashed with host President Rodrigo Duterte over Philippine drug war killings on the sidelines of the ASEAN summit in Manila last November. Trudeau called out Duterte over human rights, the rule of law, and specifically extrajudicial killings during their meeting. Duterte later described Trudeau's comments as a personal and official insult. Mm-hmm.